Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and sew the top part of the bikini, which is a bit more complicated than the bottom. Um, really, the final design of the bikini is just this piece, this piece, and this one in the front, and just that in the back. And then, of course, our straps as well. So this piece was designed here just to kind of make it easier to place the straps. Um, and then later we can actually make it like clear fabric or possibly just delete it altogether. So let's get started. I would say the easiest seam to sew is probably this princess seam. Um, not too complicated. In fact, I think the segment sewing tool will be a great one to use. So I'm just gonna go click, click. Yep, I can see them being sewn together. Click and click worked on the other side, cool. I think what I wanna do next is sew our side seam. So it looks like part of the strap will be in the side seam, as well as this bottom bodice here. And then both of those pieces will get sewn to the back as well. So I'm gonna click on the letter A just so you can see where that is. Here's a little blue dot, and there it is. So this seam right here is going to get to be sewn to you and that little guy. Sometimes it's just visually nice to see that. Um, because I'm sewing two pattern pieces to one, um, segment would not be a good one unless I used M to N. So I could actually maybe just do that. So um, another good one is free sewing M to N too. Both of them will work. Um, so, but why not? I'll just demo segment M to N. There's so many different ways to sew things. You'll have to get used to it and figure out which one you like best. So M to N means we're, you know, you're telling the computer all the patterns in part one, which they call M, please sew to all the patterns in part two, which they call N. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom in here. I want this little guy. I'm gonna have the notches kind of face towards the bottom. Click. Okay, so I had three little clicks. That's all I want sewn. I don't know why that, that guy's highlighted, but I'm just gonna ignore it. So I'm gonna hit return. So I just have those three, and why do, yeah, no, we're good, yeah, phew. And we wanna sew those three up here, and starting at the bottom, so click, click. In this case, I had three as well. And make sure those notches are all going the right way. When I'm done, I can hit return. And I like to look at it on my 3D avatar. That looks good to me. I don't see anything twisted or funky, so cool. So let's do it again so we can get extra practice. This time I'll start on this side. I'll start from the top bottom. So click my notches up high, notches up high. Get in there, notches up high. Return, because I'm done. Okay, and we're starting from the top. Notches up high, notches up high, and notches up high, and I'll hit return. That looks good, awesome. Okay, so I should also sew, I could probably sew my shoulders together. That would be nice. So I can go back to just the regular segment sewing tool. Zooming out. Okay, and if you're not sure which one gets sewn to what, you can always click the letter A to bring you back to your selection tool. So I wanna sew this guy right here. He's gonna get sewn to this guy, which is over here. Okay, so I'm gonna use the segment sewing tool. I'm gonna to my notch go towards the neck on both of them. There we go, that looks good. I guess I'll just do the other one while I'm at it. Cool, I like the way that looks. Okay, nice. I guess I can sew this little seam together. Click, 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 click. Alrighty. So, oh, and maybe I'll sew this little triangle on the back. Click, click, click. Okay, now for the fun part, <laughs> the strap. Uh, um, okay, just make it out of that. Click A, there we go. My thing's going crazy, there we go. Um, okay, so hmm, let's see here. I guess, I think I'm going to use M to N. Um, Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and do, I'm gonna do free sewing. I haven't been doing free sewing too much yet. So I'm gonna click you and you, click, click. You click where you start, you click where you stop. Click, I'm done, I'll hit enter. 
Now we're going to sew it here. We're going to start down here. Click. And there's my blue dot to signify that's the same length. So I'll use that. Click and enter. Okay. That looks good. Does it look good on the avatar? I think so. Okay. Let's do the same on the other side. Click to start. End. Start. End. Click. And click. Return. Now for the strap, click. There's my blue dot. Click. Return. Okay, looks good. Okay, then we are sewing. Let me zoom in here. Clicking the letter A tool. So this part of the strap, where is that? This guy. He is going to get sewn to this part of the letter V. Okie dokie. Um, so I'm going to do M to N. Oh no, I'm not. I'm going to do free sewing. I'm just going to do free sewing. And I'm just going to go click, click. And I'm going to go here, click. And then there's my blue dot. I'm going to just click on the blue dot. And then I'm going to have it be cross back. So I'm going to have it go all the way down here. And because I'm not doing M to N, I don't have to hit um, return. Okay, so this strap is longer, but whatever. Okay, I suppose I'll do the same to the other side. I'm going to go click, click. Click and click. Okay. I do know I need to sew the bottom, but I'm kind of not sure what's the right way yet. So I think I kind of want to simulate. Um, I'm worried that the top is too low. So I'm going to select everything with that A tool. I'm going to see if I can bring it up a bit like that. I like that better. Okay. Oh, do I have weird? Oh, I think I made a mistake. No, I didn't make a mistake. Uh, all right. I'm a little nervous because I see like crisscross stuff and that scares me, but I think it's because of the strap. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to hit space bar. Oh, wait. Before I do, am I happy at the bottom? Okay. Okay. Space bar. Oh, I think I did do some crisscross funny business. Hmm. I don't know. So another trick you can do is you can strengthen pieces. So I'm going to select um, just the straps. I have to deselect everything by just clicking the background and that unselected everything. And yeah, I'm worried that I did, yeah, I selected the, I did sew it wrong. I sewed the wrong piece of the strap. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and look at that. I am I think I actually should have sewn this side of the strap, the opposite side. That's where I went wrong. Okay, so I'm gonna delete it. Then I'm going to use the free sewing tool. Click, 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 click. Okay, great. Let's do the other side as well. Delete. Oh, let me try that one more time. Select, delete. I'm in the edit tool to delete. Now I can go back to the free sewing. Click, click. Click, click, let's do space bar. Okay. Um, oh, this guy still seems awfully twisted. I'm gonna hit the letter A. I don't know. Let's see, maybe just this guy doesn't seem as bad. The other one, 
So I feel like I'm doing something right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select both straps. I'm gonna hold shift and I'm gonna right click. I'm gonna strengthen them. Sometimes making it like kind of more stiff, it kind of helps it figure out its shape a little bit better. So it's pretty intermediate, I think, having us do <laughs> the cross back so soon, but um, yeah, that's all right. Okay. Um, I think that's fine for right now. Okay, and then now these straps, let's see here. They're a little long, but let's see what we should do about that. Um, hmm. I wonder since the way I sew them, they're kind of too long, we might wanna just shorten them a little bit. So I'm gonna hit my edit sewing tool and I can see where that is. Um, it looks like it's about like one box. So I'm gonna hit the letter Z and I'm just gonna change this pattern. To come, come. Oh no, it's changing my whole shape. I'm gonna say edit and do. I'm gonna hit split. I'm gonna hit the letter X. I'm gonna go click. And I'm gonna go back to this um, edit tool. Oh good, I got it in the right spot. And then I'm also just gonna go ahead and hit X over here. And then I think I'll just hit Z and I'll just delete this point and I'll hit Z and click that point. It kind of just makes it a little bit shorter. Did I miss everything up? Why is my, looks a little funny. I'm gonna hit space bar. Okay, it's not that big of a deal. <laughs> okay, and then now I'm gonna go ahead and look at this guy. I'm hitting letter A and I want to sew this guy that piece I want to sew like right here. So I'm gonna do segment sewing and I want this little notch to be close to the triangle. Okay, let's see if I did that right. Kind of zoom in. It's hard to see if the skin color. Okay, it's not twisted, so I think I did it right. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. I hit spacebar to unsimulate. Let's go over here. Okay, there's the little where it stops sewing is, oh, I have to hit edit, there we go. That's where it stops sewing, so that's where I wanna put my split line. So I'm gonna hit the letter X, click, and then I'll just go over here and kinda of eyeball click. Hit to Z and delete that point, hit Z to delete that point. Now I'm gonna sew that guy. I always get a little bit confused on how to sew it. So I'm gonna hit the letter A and say, okay, this, where's this point? Zoom in. Okay, so this part I want closest to the little V. So I'm gonna do segment, I'm gonna click U. My notch, that notch, I want closest to the V. So right over here, like that. I think I did it right, space bar. Yeah. Okay, cool. I'm pretty happy. Okay, great. Um, okay, so we still need to add some elastic as well at the bottom here, so of her bottom opening. So I'm gonna zoom out, and I'm just gonna select with the letter Z. I'm gonna click the bottom, I'm gonna hold Shift, click that. Click here, 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 and here. I'm gonna open up the Property Editor, the little tab on the right-hand side, and we're gonna look for elastic, and I'm gonna check it so it's on. Okay, cool. You can see right away, kind of came in, so that's nice. Um, also, usually there's elastic all around the bikini bottom as well, so I'm gonna add it to the leg opening. Can we zoom in? And I'm holding shift, zooming out, zooming in. Okay. Holding shift. Okay, let's add it, add it around the leg opening. Just check it. And then, believe it or not, you also usually add it around the waist. Okay. There you go. Okay, cool. Okay, um, so if you like, if you get this far, you can go ahead and turn it in, take a screenshot of, um, I guess, of the avatar and your pattern pieces. Um, 
And let's see, I think for fun, I might delete this just to see what happens. There you go. There you go. See, little bathing suit on her. Um, hit spacebar. If anything funny happens, let's check. Yeah, oops, I'll say edit undo. When I deleted it, it deleted my sewing, so I would have to go back and fix that. So I might say Command Z, and um, if it bugs you and you don't wanna see that, um, what you could do is assign it a different fabric. I'm gonna open up the object browser and the property editor, and I'll take fabric one, and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, duplicate it. So let's see here, I'll just say copy. Does that work? Yeah. Um, next module, we'll actually talk about fabrics and picking out the right fabric. So we'll definitely dive deeper next module. Um, but for right now, I have fabric one right here. This is my copy and I'm gonna click and drag and drop it on that piece and this piece and this piece. So everything else is just the fabric one. Those three pieces are the copy. I'm gonna select the fabric up here and the property editor window changed all the choices like it changes if I click the pattern there's like choices for the pattern but if I go up here and click fabric now it's choices for the fabric and I'm going to change the opacity from 100 and make it opaque transparent see-through at zero there we go so then that way you don't see it which is kind of neat okay so we can work on her fit later our goal today was just to import a DXF pattern sew it up get it on the avatar obviously there's work to do to get it to fit right get the right fabric add some prints all kinds of stuff but this is a great start and it's a huge challenge so um, yeah I hope you got some good practice in and learned a lot of new things